of prospector and defender. I'm mean, sorry, of offensive and defensive uh, uh, strategies. So types of organization strategies. You have one that's called the prospector, uh, one that's known as the defender, one that's an analyzer, and one that's a reactor. So a prospector uh, strategy is a company like Apple, right? So they're innovative. They're typically first to the market. Uh, these organizations often are creators of change. Uh, and really, they, they're, they're first, uh, the first to do something. And this is why uh, uh, customers come to them, because they're innovative uh, and they go into new markets that, uh, that, that, that may not exist yet. Defender, you have a company like Dell Computer. <laughs> Dell is located in Texas, where I'm from, uh, the state of Texas. And really, they've got a loyal customer base. Uh, and they're just trying to hold on to the market share that they have. Uh, I mean, of course, they, they like new customers. They want new customers. But their main focus is really to sort of protect and defend the market that they have, to keep their, their customers that they have already. Analyze a market. This is a little bit different. All right. They attempt to maintain uh, their business and somewhat innovate their business as well. So with them, they're sort of... Uh, kind of a best of both worlds. And one company is a company like Roche, right? They're a pharmaceutical company. Uh, and what they want to do, they want to be second to market. Now, what's interesting about this, watch this. When you talk about pharmaceuticals, I mean, this is pretty serious uh, product, right? It goes inside the body. Uh, and so it's really, it's kind of clever that they say, you know what? We don't want to be first. Because if we make a medicine and we're first to make that medicine, what if the medicine, I don't know, doesn't work? Maybe someone gets sick. You know what? Halas, we won't be first. We'll let someone else do it. They'll be first. And if it goes well, okay, then we will jump in <laughs> once, we, once we know everything's are, are well. It's similar, I guess, to software, right? Uh, one company might allow another company to uh, you know, produce or create something first. Uh, once all the bugs are worked out, then they enter into the market. So that, that's kind of wise. Then you have what is called a reactor market. What's a reactor market? Well, well this one is, number one, it's a temporary uh, condition uh, because this market is, there's no consistent strategy. All they're trying to do is to survive and to react to offensive strategies, right? Typically, you have a larger company and what they're trying to do is to try to defend uh, offensive companies that are trying to take their market share. And they don't really have a strategy on their own. They just sort of react to everyone else. Uh, the company you see there is a company called Kmart. Um, I'm not sure if they really exist anymore in the US. I know at one time when I was a, a kid, child, many, many years ago, not that long ago, many years ago, they were the number one company. And then a new company showed up, a company by the name of Walmart. And they came and put them out of business because Kmart was a similar company. They sold clothing and, and dishes and electronics. Uh, but again, they reacted. They didn't have a strategy. They weren't trying to uh, innovate, get you uh, new markets. They weren't trying to defend their, their current customer base, they just reacted to everyone. And that's why it says it's temporary because that company, um, as I mentioned, I'm not quite sure if they they even exist uh, to the degree that they were when I was a kid. Okay, some different types of strategies there.